Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at the addition of number bases. So let's start by looking at an example. We are to add 100110 with 11011. So this is what we are supposed to add. Now, if you look at this, the fact that we have one zero zero one one zero and then one one zero one one tells me that this is all in base two this is base two so the base we are dealing with over here is base two so we are to add in base two all right so let's go ahead and look at how to add this so i have one zero zero one one zero then i have one one zero one one i'm supposed to add so let's go ahead and look at that now remember we are adding in base 2 so let me write it small over here so base 2 is our final answer so adding from the right to the left as usual 0 at the top over here plus the 1 at the bottom will give me 1 it's not more than 2 so we write the 1 now 1 plus 1 is 2 so we can write 2 since we are dealing with base 2 so we ask ourselves a question how many times will the base the two over here go into the two that we added that we got from adding this one to one so i repeat that again one plus one is two so we ask ourselves how many times will the base go into that two so the base which is two will go into the two once and then we write that one at the corner over here once it goes one it will remain zero or nothing will remain so we write the remainder and then we carry the number of times the base will go into the number which is one over here so now i move to the third digit one plus zero is one plus the one that we carried initially is two so we can write the two so we do the exact same thing again how many times will the base go into the two it will go there once so let me cancel the first one to go there one so remainder zero so we write down the remainder we carry one so I move on to the next one. 0 plus 1 is 1 plus the one that we already carried. So making 2. So it's the same thing. 2 will go in there. 1. Remember 0. So I write 0. Then I come to the next one. 0 plus 1 is 1 plus the one that we carry is 2. 2. So the base will go in there once and it's left with 0. We write that. Then we add one plus nothing over here which is one plus the one that we carried is two at the same time two will go into that two that we got it will go there once and it's left with zero so i write down the zero over here now i have nothing over here to add so i'll just bring the one that uh, i carried over here to the end over here and this becomes my answer in base two so if you add one zero zero one one zero with one one zero one one you get one zero 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 one base two as your answer all right so let's proceed to look at another example so that we further understand how to add in number bases so this time around we have to add the following numbers we have to add three two two base 5 with 114 base 5 and uh, 324 base 5 okay now if you look at this we are dealing with base 5 over here so it means that when we add we shouldn't have any number that exceed 5 in our result so let's proceed to look at the solution to this problem so I have 3, 2, 2, base 5. I'll write this to work. Then I have 1, 1, 4, also in base 5. Then I have 3, 2, 4, also in base 5. So my answer as well will be in base 5. Now, 2 plus 4 will give me 6, plus 4 will give me 10. Now we can write 10 since the 10 is obviously greater than the base which is 5 so we need to write something else. So we ask ourselves how many times will 5 go into the 10? It will go there twice so we write the 2 aside and it will be left with 0 or it will remain 0 so we write down the remainder over here. 
then we proceed to the next set of values so we have 2 1 and 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 2 that we carried initially this one becomes 7 so 5 will go into 7 once and it will be left with 2 so we write down the 2 over here then we carry the 1 so I move on to the next digit so 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7 plus the one that we carried already making it 8 so 5 will go into 8 once and then it will be left with 3 so I write down the 3 and then the one that I carried initially since there is no number to add in front of these guys over here I'll write that one in front over here so my answer will be 1320 base 5 so let's proceed to see another example In this example, we have to find the sum of the following numbers. That is 2, 5, 6, base 8, and 3, 4, 2, base 8, and 4, 2, 1, base 8. Okay, so let's proceed to look at the solution to this problem. So I have 2, 5, 6 in base 8, 3, 4, 2 in base 8, and then 4, 2, 1 in base 8. Because we are dealing with base 8, we are expecting our result to be in base 8, which means no value should exceed, should be 8 or above 8. Alright, so we have 6 here. 6 plus 2 makes 8, plus 1 makes 9. So I ask myself, how many times will the base go into 9? It will go there once, remainder is 1. So I write down the remainder, I carry the number of times it will go in there, which is 1. So 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 1 is 12 so for 12 8 to go into 12 once sorry uh, 5 plus 4 is 9 plus uh, the 2 over here 10 11 plus 1 over here so yes which is now 12 yes 12 so 8 will go into the 12 once and it will be left with 4. So we write down the 4. So we carried uh, 1. So I move on to the next one. 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus 4 is 9. Plus the 1 we already carried makes it 10. Now how many times would 8 go into the 10 that we have? It will go there once. And it will be left with 2. So I write down the 2 which is the remainder. And since I don't have any number in front over here to add. I bring the 1 that I carried to the front over here so i get one two four one base eight as my answer over here All right let's look at one final example so i'm to find the sum of three zero three base five and one zero four base five this is very easy so i have three zero three in base five then 104 in base 5. So let's proceed. So 3 plus 4 will give me 7. And 7, 5 will go into 7 once. So I write down that one. It will be left with 2. So I write 2 here or the remainder. So I come to 0 and 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Plus the one that we carried initially makes it 1. Then I come here, 3 plus 1 is 4. It's not above, it's not 5 or above, so I write down the 4. So 303 base 5 plus 104 base 5 will give me 412 base 5. So thank you so much for watching. This is how we add in number bases. So thank you once again, and I'll see you in the next.